PIP stands for Pursuing Independent Paths. We support young adults with learning disabilities to achieve their potential. People with Down syndrome, autism, fragile X, and other much more rare learning disabilities. We support our students to have a taste of independence by supporting them to perform small activities that most of us take for granted every day. Creating a pasta meal, making a sandwich from start to finish. What we're doing is, is we're creating a level of independence that the people that we support don't have before. The people that PIP support find it very difficult to express themselves. It's very difficult for them to find a voice, music, drums. It's a fantastic way to allow people to express themselves. And Marcio is a great example of that. And working with his peers who play other musical instruments, he finds a voice and he's part of a group and a community that contribute to something collectively. At PIP, we create opportunities to be ordinary. So going into the workplace, and doing the sort of task that most of us take for granted allows people like Nargis the opportunity to do ordinary things and contribute to the team. And the team is part of an organization and she feels like she's actually contributing and achieving something. That's what Pip does. We foster Danny, who's a young man with Down syndrome and severe learning disabilities. I always remember when Danny was uh, about 14, the professionals who were dealing with him turned around to us and said, well, let's face it, you're never going to be able to let Danny out in the street by himself. Now, several years after attending PIP, his social skills have developed immensely. He has good interaction with people. It's also greatly improved his, uh, his speech. So the more he can build on that, the better. And obviously the ideal situation is that he could find some form of employment afterwards. Without PIP, the people that we support would sit at home, they would be totally isolated, and they would have no social interaction whatsoever with their community. I think anyone who has children wants the best for their children and for them to develop their potential to the maximum. There's a huge unmet need that is out there and we're expanding to meet that and to meet an additional 400 local young disabled people. The support of St. James's Place Foundation is absolutely critical to PIP because they know us really well. They understand what we do every single day, the people that we support, and the role we play in our local community. And it makes a really, really big difference to us today and in the future. The actual increase in his practical skills and his social skills is absolutely remarkable. He knows the difference between the coins. He knows how to count his change. For Danny to learn that took years. Thank you.